Hi everyone, I just wanted to create this short video um, for those of you that are new to Patreon or are not quite au fait with finding your way around. So what I've had to do, um, I've got my husband just to set up a, an account registered um, obviously under his name, but um, so he, he's pledged to me in the $1 a tier month. So, because obviously if I log in under my own um, my own page, I'm a creator, so what you would see would be completely different to what you see as a patron. So when you first log in, this will be the page that opens up, so obviously it will be your avatar and your name up here on the left hand side, and then it should say here on the left hand side who you're supporting, so if you're supporting more than one creator there will be a list here. And then a little bit like on social media, say on Facebook, you'll have a a public wall or a wall here of all the posts. So if you had several creators, every time they posted it will be in sort of date and time um, order down here. But obviously because he's only pledged to me and on the one dollar tier he's only seeing my, my patron only or public posts um, appearing. If there were other creators they would be there as well. Now if you want to see um, just I haven't actually seen this. So, so see, there's two ways of getting to my page. Now, if you want to come to my page and see all my shortcuts and things like that, you've got to go to my page. This is your own profile page. You're not going to get to um, my shortcuts to videos, tutorials, or anything like that from this first initial page. So you can go into here, this drop down saying showing all creators. So you can select me there, or you can select me here from the left hand side. So if we go here, click on my name this should take you to oh no it's only showing sorry that drop down was for your feed see I haven't used this before it's completely different that drop down it will then filter out if you've got say if you here on the right hand side say you were a um, a patron of Kirsty as well Kirsty Partridge that drop down there would show my name Kirsty's name so you could choose um, to filter out just my posts or just hers. So if we go over here on the left hand side and click me, now it will take you to my creators page. So when I say to you that all of the posts I make, so videos, tutorials, etc, I add tags to them. So if you see here, this um, my most recent post, which is of the dog's mouth video, I tag it with colour pencil, dog, mouth, tutorial and video. I can add five tags. Um, same as if I go down to let's find another post. Black fur. So here's another one, um, the tutorial video for the nose. So again it's colour pencil, dog nose, tutorial and video. So those tags all come together and then the top feature tags that I've put here on the left hand side You've got video, so if you click on there, that's a shortcut to all the videos. Tutorials, so everything that's a tutorial, which will be videos and the written tutorials. Obviously the line drawings, the reference photos, and anything I've tagged with colour pencil. Now here there are a lot more tags, so there's obviously shortcuts to straight to all the snow leopard posts, um, the spaniel, mocker pup, black cat. I will try and filter through some of these and delete them because they're not all needed now. Um, and then the other way of doing it is you can go into the public only posts, patron only. Now if you're in this $10 um, tier you can just click on the $10 only tier, um, the $5 tier and the other way of doing it is to filter by month. So if you know that, I don't know, let's have a look, let's go back to December 2017 and I know I think Mockup Up was the video series for their tutorial. So if I click on that, this will take us back to December and you can then filter through all of the posts for December. And it'll just take you back to everything for that month. So you've got the December tutorial video there as well. Um, so all the posts that went out in December, you can filter it by month. Or you can simply just click on the feature tags. So all the videos, and you can just go straight in and all the videos are there. Yes, you do have to page back, but you can click on the other tags as well to filter through them. 
okay so you have to be on my creators page to see this you've also got the community which you can use to post yourself anyway so you can put in images here um, but if you go to the overview page this is something I've created just for you because some of you guys were not finding the shortcuts that see even here you've got all the shortcuts here on the left hand side um, now I created a document which you will find on this front page and in the document it I've added all of the shortcut links to all of the video tutorials with a description and also to all of the um, downloadable digital tutorials and what it does is it will take you through to that post on Patreon. It doesn't take you to the video on um, YouTube because obviously that's a private link. It will only take you, so say he's he's only on one dollar. So if I click on video part one, it will take me back to Patreon to where exactly that video was posted. But because he hasn't got access, if you had five dollar access or ten dollar, it would be unlocked. So you would straight away have access to that video. Um, so that is the way to use the shortcuts um, and here if I click on the horse tutorial part 2 and here I've put in its duration 30 minutes colour pencil pan pastel and obviously I've got to add the black German Shepherd will be going on there next I add the videos and tutorials as I complete them um, I just need to try and get this into a little bit more um, better layout so here we go click on the polar bear tutorial and it will take you straight to October tutorial video one, which is the polar bear. And of course, obviously, it's locked because he's only on a one dollar tier. So hopefully, that might help you to find your way around a little bit easier. Um, and hopefully, now you'll understand what I'm saying. Click on the tabs on the left hand side. But say so if you go to the posts page, this is the overview page, if you go to the posts page, then you've got even more filters here. You, know, you go by date, newest, oldest, filter by month. It's not a great search engine. Um, it's not great. That's why I'm also setting up. I'm At the moment, I'm getting my website redesigned, and all of this will be over on my website, and it'll be so much more easily easier, easier <laughs> to access. And I'm going to have, obviously, like a search um, facility in there so if you want to search for the GSD you know German Shepherd or black fur you can just click in search and it will bring it up so I hope that helps some of you um, obviously feedback if you're still still struggling but it, it does differ this is going in on a browser um, depending whether you go in on an app or a browser it does show slightly differently but this is the main way of accessing all of my posts and finding all of the individual themes of tutorials and videos. Okay, thank you very much for watching.